Hello everybody. Today, uh, today I'm bringing you a little bit of a fun thing. I'm going to talk about my favorite song from each of the various Kobo albums. Um, now keep in mind, I did my very best to make sure I did not pick any singles. Um, I'm probably going to do a top five singles some other time. Uh, I wanted to specifically do unique songs that are unique to the albums. Uh, I think there's a couple of times I do slip up, mainly because just the single just stands out so much in comparison with all the other songs that I had to pick it. So, forgive me for that. But for the most part, I tried to pick album exclusive songs. Um, another thing, some uh, ground rule, rule I want to set is that um, keep in mind this is not me being objective. You know, a lot of times I do talk about being objective. I realize having an opinion is subjective still to. But I try to be as objective and fair as I can with my judgments when I when I make reviews and things like that. But for this, this is purely subjective. This is just me telling you what I love and my favorite songs. Um, doesn't necessarily speak to the quality of the song or the production quality or the or the vocal quality or anything like that. It just has to do with what hits me in the right way and makes me enjoy it a lot. So just so you know. Um, Obviously, that means most of you aren't going to agree with the songs that I pick, but that's okay because this is just what makes me happy. Uh, what you what makes you happy will likely be very different, maybe the same, maybe similar, but most likely different. So here we go. Um, oh, and uh, I'm doing all the studio albums, so that's nine total, including the third mini album. I'm not doing any of the compilations, so that means Love Together is not included in this. None of the new song, uh, none of the songs in any of the compilation albums, specifically only the studio albums. So that's nine. So. Let's begin with the first album. Wow. You heard it. Uh, so this is one of the exceptions I was telling you about, Piririto Yuko. Um, part of it is just because I, uh, it's just special to me because of the fact that it was one of the first, it was the first song of theirs I heard actually. Um, it wasn't the first song that really got me into the group, but it was the first song I heard back in 2005 when I first started getting introduced to Hello Project. So I just love it. It's really cute. It's very youthful. It's very energetic. Uh, the music video is fun as well. And uh, I always have fun singing it. And I know very few people that don't like it. I mean, heck, even my little nephew likes it. <laughs> and he's uh, he was one when he heard it. Um, he's two now. I have not had him hear it again since, but point being, he liked it too. So. It's just a really cute song, and I really like it because of that, because it really reminds me of them as kids. It's it's the epitome of their start for me, and that's why I like that one specifically. Um, moving on to the second album. So, with the second album, uh, my favorite is Koi no Jubaku. Um, I realized this one actually, I didn't know this one was a single originally, but uh, after looking it up later, I found out that it was. Uh, so my mistake on that. But regardless, um, it's actually a really, really cute song. And the uh, same thing, it really reminds me of their youthfulness and, and uh, them when they first started. And it, don't get me wrong, there's actually a lot of songs I liked on the first two albums, but these two were the ones that were the most impactful um, for me. And uh, keep in mind, I didn't even know it. this one I had never heard a single, I actually heard it straight from the album, so that's why, like I said, I didn't even know it was a single until I actually looked up the information later. But yeah, there you go. Uh, third album. And this one's actually. <laughs> This one's actually kind of funny because it is a cover um, of, an of another group song, and I actually like this version a lot better than the original. Uh, I like the music video for the original better, but I actually like this song much better, uh, this version of the Barry's version. Um, it's just really fun. And as you can tell, that's what I, as you can already see, that's what I like the most about these, is, is the fun, exciting, the, the, the carefree type of songs. That's what I enjoy the most. It lifts my spirits. And especially during that time when like, these things were first coming out, it was back when I, I, I needed that. So it was really nice. Uh, so I really like this one. It's really fun, carefree. It's not a very good song as far as actual quality goes, vocal quality and whatnot, but it's, it's a very, very fun song, and I enjoyed it a lot because of that. Um, moving on with uh, the fourth album. Is Sakura wa Rakusa. Um, this one actually is interesting because there's a lot of good songs I like on the fourth album. The fourth album is, is a really standout album for me. 
But uh, this one specifically, uh, just the way the chorus is sung, I find it really addictive and catchy. And because of that, I really like it. Um, I know it's a very, very overall a pretty simple song, but it's just, I don't know, something about the chorus is what gri grips me, and that's why that one is my favorite one in the fourth album. In the fifth album, That would be uh, Bakane Shinaide. Um, you know, this one's kind of interesting also. Um, I actually like a lot of the songs on this. I actually like Real Love. In fact, this one I think would, is very, very likely to be my favorite album that, uh, of theirs. Um, and I really like Happy Stand Up, actually. But I just really liked... I really liked the, the, the way all of the vocals were spread between the, the four members for this one. It was uh, Saki, Miyabi, Yumina, and, and Isako, if I remember correctly. And uh, I really liked it. I, I felt like it really took out their best qualities and they really did well together. And uh, overall, um, I just feel like the, the music overall was just really, really well done. And this is one of the exceptions where I chose what I felt, felt was more well done over what I felt was more fun, which would be Happy Stand Up. So, Bakanishi Naide would be my favorite from the fifth album. In the sixth album... In the sixth album, here's another uh, exception. Uh, this album actually has a lot of singles on it. And uh, it, in my opinion, the best songs on this album, though all the good ones, are the singles, unfortunately. Um, which is, to me, a little bit of disappointment. I do like some of the other songs, don't get me wrong, but the standout ones are all singles. The reason why I choose Watashi no Mirai no Danna Sama is, um, you know, I really don't know, actually. To be honest, this is one of those ones where it's just like, it's just something that hits me, I, I really like it. I have no idea why. I can't explain why, it's just... It's just something I like. So, I mean... And that's it. <laughs> nothing special about the sixth album. There's nothing really, no story behind it. That's just, that's it. So, the seventh album. Ah, so the seventh album. Now, this is interesting. This would actually probably be my favorite album of theirs. Um, there's a lot of good songs on here, singles or otherwise, that I really like. Um, now this was actually a tough one between Magical Future and uh, and Bum Bum Jump, but Bum Bum Jump won uh, <laughs> because of the the reason you've been seeing mostly so far is because I thought it was more fun. Uh, I feel like Magical Future is a better song overall, but Bum Bum Jump is just it was just fun. I just really thought it was fun, exciting, same thing. Like I, and I actually saw a, a concert performance of this. Uh, one of the few times I've actually watched a Barry's concert. Um, I, as you know, I usually only watch Morning Musume concerts. I really liked it, and uh, I really like the way the way uh, the way it's very well jumpy, I guess, for lack of a better term. But it's it's very it's very uplifting, and I, and I really like that. It. It's really fun, and it's something I really love to sing along to. I, I enjoy it a lot. Um, with the eighth album. Okay, so this one was actually a tough one. Um, you know, my favorite song on this album actually is Shy Boy, but um, I ended up picking Amus uh, Amazu Pai Haruni Sakura Saku, um, mainly because I really, 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 really liked the the crossover between uh, Berries and Cute in this, Very Cute. Um, this, in my opinion, is probably their best crossover song, uh, next to what in uh, Barry's comment, but uh, that's not a, on any of Barry's albums, so I don't count that. So this is like their best, in my opinion, an overall production, overall excitement, overall way of linking them together and uh, having them work off of each other, the two groups. I really feel like this really, really made full use of both groups' members in a way that made the song really exciting. And because of that, um, like I said, even though Shy Boy is my favorite song on this album, I'd have to pick uh, Amazu Pai Haruni Sakura Saku because it's just, it's a really, really fun and great collaboration between various cute and cute. And, uh, and that's, that's really, that's really it. So that's my, that's my, my, well, best favorite, I guess they're tied. But if I had to, if I had to pick one out of the two, that's the one I would pick for that reason. 
And for their last album, which... This one's another example of there being a lot of good singles on here. And um, it was also a toughie between this and um, Koi Toshiki uh, Kisetsu. Uh, because, uh, well, Saki, Miyabi, and Yusaku just make a really, really good singing, uh, singing set together. Um, but this one actually caught me off guard. Uh, oddly enough, uh, Momoko and Yurina are not my two favorite singers in my group. In fact, they're the, my two least favorite singers in the group. Not to say I don't like them. I'm specifically talking about vocal quality. I just don't find their vocal quality as attractive as other other ladies in the group. Um, but this song caught me off guard because when I first heard this uh, album, I didn't know who sang what. Um, and I really, really, really liked the song. I thought they sung, sang it really well. It was a really fun song. So um, then I finally looked at uh, you know the, the the book, and when I looked in the book, oh, it's Momo Kanyuri now. What the heck? <laughs> And it totally caught me off guard, and so I really like this one because of that. It was a very good surprise. Um, them two did really well together. They actually sang really well. It actually made me realize that they're actually pretty good singers. It's just uh, I feel like the roles they're given normally don't really do them justice. Granted, they probably get better better roles in concerts, but I'm mostly familiar with just their studio recorded music. So that's why Otoko Mae is my favorite from the ninth album. Um, and there you have it. My favorite songs from all the big, uh, the studio released uh, Berries albums. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. What are your guys' favorite songs from their albums? Um, maybe what are your least favorites or, or do you agree with me? Or do you think I chose some absolutely stupid songs and I should have chosen better songs? Let me know. Opinions are opinions and as you know I like discussing it. And that's it for today. Um, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you guys next week. Take care.